We've covered drawing 3D shapes in the default perspective corner view in another video, but the edit window has other views. When looking at shapes from the front, side, top, or bottom, it's difficult to visualize how close an object is to you as the viewer. The shapes look two-dimensional, yet Model Maker still draws the shapes in 3D. Let's look at drawing 3D shapes in the front view first. The front view is this icon of the camera as if you're looking through the viewfinder while it's level with you. Model Maker will animate the shape as you draw so you can place it in exactly the right place. Draw the front face of the shape by clicking a starting point, then dragging up and out, and click to complete the front face. The entire edit window now rotates to show the side view of the model. Without touching any mouse buttons, move the mouse to position the side view of the front face in the location you want and click to set its position. There are tiny little indicators you can watch to see that Z value get closer or farther from you. Note that the X coordinates determine width side to side. Y is height and Z is the depth or distance from you. Now drag and click to draw the side face of the shape, giving it depth. The edit window automatically goes back to the front view. It still looks like a flat 2D shape from this view, but if you look from other views, you can see the 3D shape that's been drawn. In the front and side views, your drawings will generally be created in two steps, so you can choose width and height on the X and Y axes, and then position along the Z axis. And just like in the corner perspective view, you can draw another shape while in the front view that snaps to an existing shape. Click for a start point once you see the orange cursor and hot spots. Drag and click to set the front face that snaps to the existing object. When the window rotates, you can choose a depth, then click to set the side and finish. It's slightly different when drawing in the top view, where your first two clicks set the width and position, and after the animation, you're choosing a vertical position or floor of the object. You may need to click and drag while holding your mouse button to get the vertical height while in top or bottom view. All of these shapes can be repositioned along any axis or stretched and scaled after they're drawn, no matter which view you created them in. And we'll cover that in another video for manipulating shapes. I hope this video has helped you understand how to draw shapes while in front, side, top, and bottom views. Thanks for watching.